Mommy, can that, can you please give me a gift, American Girl gift card um, when it's not my birthday or Christmas? Mommy, can we get some ice cream from the ice cream man? It's real. Mom guilt is a thing. I'm, I'm not even kidding you, but it is very much a real thing while you're on the debt-free process. Melina came to me the other day and she looked up at me with her sweet face and those big blue eyes. And she said, Mommy, when are we gonna go to Disneyland? All my friends are going to Disneyland and I've never been and I feel silly because everybody I know has been to Disneyland and I haven't ever been there. What do you tell a six-year-old? Do you say you can't afford it? Do you say it's not in the budget? Do you say one day we'll get to go? What I ended up telling her was that Disneyland is a wonderful, wonderful place that you don't get to go very often. And we wanted to wait until she was the exact age that would be great for Disneyland. So eight or nine years old, knowing that when she's eight or nine, we'll probably be debt free and we'll be able to go and pay cash for it. But this happens constantly. She's constantly saying things like, mommy, the ice cream man's outside. Can I get an ice cream? Mommy, let's get pizza at the pool tonight. And I'll be honest with you, sometimes I give in because the moment you can remember when you're sitting around a table at the pool, a big giant picnic table with all of your friends and your friend's parents and you're doing stuff as families together having fun and playing and maybe sharing a pizza or maybe bringing food to the pool sometimes i don't want her to miss out on that stuff most of the time i opt for the fiscally responsible route but i don't always this summer, you'll see a few more frivolous expenses. Sometimes they're planned and sometimes it's the mom guilt. And there's dad guilt too. Mauricio goes out of his way sometimes to give Molina things because they're things he wanted as a child. And, and he knows she's not going to be six forever. Heck, she's not even going to be six for four more months. So he wants her to remember this time as being special and I get that but we do but we do have a goal we have a massive goal and we're gonna achieve it it's gonna take time and every little bit of mom guilt makes the final debt payoff one step further away but we keep moving forward and in my book as long as we're moving forward and paying off more and more debt, we're doing the right thing. It's really hard doing this. It really is. And that's one of those things that they don't ever tell you about this process is that it's difficult. I mean, like seriously difficult, but it can be done and we're going to get it done. And then I imagine a day when Melina will say, Mommy, when are we going to go to the beach again? Because when we lived in Mexico, we went to the beach a lot. Wasn't that expensive to go to the beach in Mexico. And, well, we did it. And, and she remembers those trips, which is shocking to me because some of them, she was very, very young. And she remembers them fondly. And one day, when she's a little older, we'll have a vacation fund and we'll get to go to the beach and we'll get to play in the sand and drink margaritas and swim in the water and and do things that are 
fun and and she'll remember those times too but the one thing that i really 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 want to teach melina more than anything is to never get in debt because getting out of debt is hard staying out of debt i don't know maybe that's hard too we haven't ever been there i imagine that it will not be hard to stay out of debt because we never want to go back. I won't let the mom guilt get to me. This is, it's important to us that we move forward. So, but sometimes when it tugs at your heart, sometimes you just want to give in. It's true. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.